I'll take this with me in case I need it. Huh. Supposed to be climbing somewhere. I'm guessing this doesn't open. Certainly doesn't. Oh, that's mean. I can't get to all that stuff. That's just food anyway. I don't need food. I haven't been hurt in a while. We're just looking for another... Oh my god. Get this shit out of here. <laughs> Is there another tunnel over here? Oh, there's not. I was thinking that there might be. Excuse me! Everyone needs to shut up! Okay. Um, don't think I can get up this way. However, we will make a box tower here. Let's see. So, like this, right? And then there, here we are. Hop across. And we're good. Do you think there's a note down there? I didn't actually explore. Yeah, we're probably fine. Alright. So. Gonna need to get you out of the way. Thank you. No! Are you serious? A lot of this game's uh, gameplay revolves around get, moving boxes out of the way. Ooh, what's this? Is there a... Uh... Oh man, I really can't see. <laughs> there might be something hidden over here. Oh, or I could just fall to my death. I don't know if I want to risk it. Okay. So this is definitely the correct way to go. I think. There we go, that helps. Um... There, I made it. Made it this time. Alright, so we want to get up here. It's a little bit better. Thank you. Slowly making our way up. And we need to, I think, make a, a tiny little box tower here. Thank you, thank you. We have made it. Now, this does not open. Holy crap, there's a lot of platforming up here. Um, so we'll use this box. Holy shit. Yeah, great to see ya. But you're kind of in my way. Whatever, I can get it later. Holy crap. <laughs> Just wanna make sure. Nope. Don't fall. And we've made it. Amazing. Normally I get really annoyed with platforming, but that was okay. Wasn't that bad. Now the question remains, which is the main path and which is the side path? They did patch the game to where if you touch the um, vases, they no longer just instantly explode, so that's good. Alright. Thanks. Doesn't open, so we just want loot. And it's more just this stuff. I wish there was more uh, interesting stuff that you could get from that. But there's not really enough gameplay mechanics to call for additional inventory items or, you know, lootable items, so I understand why. We saving? Or the power's not on for long enough, is it? Yeah, we gotta we gotta power it on somehow. Okay, hang on. Now uh, we just need to find another one of these. Hey, this goes outside! Oh shit. Ok, 
Okay, we gotta find a working power cell thing. Hold your horses, I'm looking. Got my stern eyebrows on right now, and yeah, that's when you know I mean business. Friendly eyebrows are when you know I'm having fun. I mean, I can I can have fun and be serious at the same time. A lot of people don't seem to understand that, but it is possible. All right, I don't need to get all of them. Thank you. All right, I don't need food. I'm good on food. There's not, like, enough danger to warrant this much food. With holy prayers, I gaze at the starry so uh, sky. Pure sacred lights and children of the night, banish all darkness and grant us light. Alas, there is no hope left. We are condemned to forever walk in the shadows. We feast upon the forbidden fruit in our despair. Our prayers now forever echoing like drops of ink in a bottomless sea. All right, Poe. Nice attempt there, but um, is there anything else in here? Yes. <laughs> Had I missed that. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and take this all the way back. Wait. I think we just take we just take it up there. Never mind. Holy shit! Oh, there's a cross right here. How do I get that stuff? There's another power cell over here. I don't know if I want to fall down there just yet. Alright, let's go ahead and take this back. Uh, try to save time. Come here. <laughs> Man, all this just to save. Are you serious? I could just not save. That'd be taking kind of a gamble, though. Damn it. If it hits anything, it instantly just... ...gives up. There we go. I saved. I did it. Now I think... Excuse me. I think we have to just fall down now. Hup. Okay, hang on. Hup. I made it. I would never, ever, ever make that jump IRL, but I made it here. Thanks. Four out of five notes. Really hope that there's uh, another one coming up. That I didn't miss one. Huh. There's a burial ground here. No name on the gravestone, though. How'd they get enough, uh... ...stone down here for that? I mean, I know it's a mine, obviously, but... Just more food. Do I just fall down? I'm really paranoid about Baghead coming back to get us. Ooh, final note. Thousands of years ago, it fell from the heavens in the form of a celestial body. It cried and it bled, but we kept it safe. What? No one should taste its fruit, for it belongs to no one of this realm. We are the keepers of this secret, and forever will be. Alright. Into the final area, I'm guessing? Yep. Alright, there's no going back now, of that I am sure. No matter how hard I struggle, my sanity fades away as my final thoughts sink into the darkness, darkest of voids. Could it really be? Is there even a possibility that this woman was once my real mother? Yep, called it. Called it. Alright, let's do this. Got six notes to scavenge in here.
We'll run off to the left. Ooh, thank you. Made my nose itches. <laughs> Gonna make a stupid face. The hell? This is this is a freaking maze, isn't it? Lots of gross sounds on the ground as well. There's a torch here. So we have fire available if we ever need to burn something. This is where I came in. Yeah, everything's- all the rooms seem to connect. That's a pressure plate. Wow, first, uh, pressure plate puzzle. I wonder if there's something heavy enough to activate it for me. That'd be pretty convenient. I mean, maybe a vase? But for some reason, I don't think so? Let's try it. Damn it! I didn't mean to break it. Alright, be very careful not to break this fucking vase. How'd I get back to... Oh, it's right there. Understood. Okay. Ooh! Ooh, the vase does activate it. That'd be bad if you... Oh, gotcha! Broke it. And we're moving on. Fun. That is fun. Take this with me just in case. Okay. Stop. Don't break. Uh, at least don't open. Do I just fall down? Oh, I tried to get on the rafter! Shoot. Oh, there's- this is just a room full of blood down here, isn't it? You recently deceased. Looks like the Resident Evil zombie turning around. Uh, Looking over his shoulder. Hi. Oh. Well, don't mind if I do. I'll take that for a sliver of health. Okay, there's... There's where I go, I think. I'm wondering if there's just... Because I have six notes to get, but I haven't seen a single one yet, and I'm wondering if... That's my fault. I haven't seen any. Nope, I haven't seen shit. Are you fucking serious? Where? Are you shitting me? Why? Well, there's two pressure plates in there. Good to see you again, Mom. Alright, bye. Okay. Fuck. So for the pressure plate. Yeah, look at this shit. Okay. And then I'll get another one. 
Fuck, she's close. Don't shatter. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> ah, I'm so close. Where's the other one? Isn't there... Aren't, hey! Aren't there two pressure plates? No? Oh, there's one in here! How are we supposed to... Oh, this pressure plate was for... Gotcha. I've still gotta get in there, though. I've still gotta... Ah, crap. I thought this room was that room. That's what was happening there. Sorry, guys. Oh, shit. Ah, it sounds like she's really close. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Whoa! She throws knives! She throws them. Stop that. You're fine. She throws knives. She could have still hit me. Yeah, keep walking. All right, so I figured out what you have to do. You have to take these rocks. You have to get them to the other side and put them on the pressure plates. Gonna be kind of tough to do. All right, come here. Mm. Yeah, there's, there's another one right here. And the reason that there's two is because you definitely need to. <laughs> Uh, I've been wandering around for a while now trying to figure it out. Might as well get this thing now then. Don't come this way. She is coming this way. All right, let's just start walking. Let's start walking. I think she was walking up that way. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how I figured this out. There's a gap at the top of this one, which pretty much tells you all you need to know. Okay, so like, Basically, just need to get both of them in there, and then I can manipulate them from inside the other cell. Holy shit. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for being around. You're making this... Not, not way harder than it needs to be. There she goes. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, now that's over with. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. I've also forgot that you can adjust the length. Forgot about that. So I need one more. One more. I know exactly where it is. It's back here. Please don't. Come with me. Crap. This is a dead end back here. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Okay, we'll take this one. Sure.
Uh, okay, good, good, good. <laughs> we got it now, pretty much. To bed, you can't sprint with these things. All right. Oh, almost there, almost there. Okay, we just need to get back to that room and we're good to go. I don't even care at this point. Bye bye. Ah! Okay, she heard me. Holy shit. Shut up. Buh! Still. I don't like that. I didn't like it. That was not fun. Okay, we've done it. Bye bye. <sighs> Ooh, what's up? Can't follow me now, can ya? I bet she still can somehow. Whew, what a puzzle. All right, bunch of people hung up in here. How many people worked at this mine? <laughs> Apparently it was a lot. An abnormally large population. Really? Oh. Could this finally be the lift that takes us to the surface? You will find on the right in Hades Halls a spring, a ghostly cypress tree stands still, beaconing each descending soul to wash away their lives, but be warned of this spring, for it is called Lethe. And by the way, I pronounced it this way throughout the entire playthrough, that is the correct pronunciation. I know a lot of people in the comments seem to think it's not, but it is. I looked it up, I took the time to look it up. Sorry, it was just, I don't know. Uh, instead, keep descending, and you will find yourself in another spring with chill water flowing from the pool of memory, guarded by restless watchers. They will ask you the reason of your presence. Speak only true words with fearless heart. I am the son of earth and starry heaven, but of heaven is my birth. This you know yourselves. I am parched with thirst and perishing. Give me quickly chill water flowing from the pool of memory. <laughs> Only then, the rulers of this realm will offer you water from this spring. You will unveil secrets in each and every drop of this water, as all other initiates have before you, and then you will finally feast among the gods. Sounds pretty good. Feasting among the gods? One of the things on my bucket list, so... Yeah, that definitely... works. Would love to do that someday. Ha! Ha! Did you even have anything in there? Oh, a kebab, huh? That's it, though. Hi there. Maxed out on those. Let's do this. Am I here to take my rightful place? Brother. There we go. What do I need to do here? I need to bring something. Okay, there's an item that I missed then. Somewhere out there. Is it... Huh. We'll have to find it, I guess. Oh, up here, there's a, a cell. I bet, it's, I bet it's up there. Stop this madness. The bear traps, come on. Alright, giving me a lot of stuff. They're giving me a lot of health, too. Like, there's two health things here. Wondering if we're about to run into another monster. 
My dear colleague, once again I'm writing you to express my deepest admiration for everything that you have offered our society. Many people were saved by your research, while others endured less suffering than they would have otherwise. Being the only doctor in this close community has never been as difficult. Every day is a struggle between science and morality, like a child in an endless playground. I treasure our correspondence, and I have utmost appreciation for your continued support, for it gives me strength to carry on. I've got the hiccup, sorry. <laughs> I have once again visited the dig site to record anything that might help us in our research. One of the miners revealed to me a strange coincidence that took place at the time. He said that it was only a few days after the discovery of an unusually solid formation of rocks in the mines that the violent behavior broke out. I suspect some airborne substance was released after the workers mistakenly chose to excavate this material. On my next visit to the site, I will collect some samples and have them sent over to you. Please do. I, 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 too, treasure our correspondence. I treasure it. Are you fucking kidding me? I got half of it. For so many years now, I've attempted to open the gate to no avail. It appears I am missing the final piece of what considers, uh, to be my greatest discovery. My latest research shows that a force of power is locked behind this gate and ancient records seem to confirm my findings. The old reports speak of some sort of portal to an entirely different world. But I have reason to believe that this gate could actually be an ancient mechanism to lead a soul to enlightenment, liberating it from its corporeal shell to live on for eternity. The gate requires some form of external stimulus, but I have yet to be able to discover what it could be. What, wouldn't it be the other half of this thing that you have next to your note? What I do know is that it should be an entity with great potential, and if my calculations are correct, it could even be a living thing, a human being, no less. If only I had more resources, more subjects to work with, I'm confident I would be able to unravel its secrets and finally become truly immortal. Signed, Dr. Rosenberg. Dr. Rosenberg? Aren't you supposed to be helping people? Instead of pursuing eternal life? So I haven't- I haven't saved in a while, so this sucks. She recognizes me. Don't... Don't tell me that's the end of episode one. That's the end of episode one, isn't it? Nope, we're still, we're still good. Is this Dr. Rosenberg? Might be him. He was kind of chasing the shit out of me earlier, so. All right. Well, actually, we're good then, because she's not gonna, right? She's not gonna interfere with us. She just saved our butts. Okay, well wait, I have- I have half of it, but I don't have the other half. It only took a moment, uh, before she opened her mouth screaming in agony. As her broken jaw moved, it revealed an unspeakable horror of broken teeth and twisted flesh. Jacob dragged her closer and onto her feet. For a moment I thought this sadist would finally stop, but my hope vanished when I looked at his face and saw his lips crack into a disturbing smile. Shortly after, as he, her shattered face laid on the burning stove, he started pouring the hot oil. The clotting blood dripped off her hair. The sight was more than I could handle. All I could do at the time was to command my body to crawl senselessly into the woods. I was a coward. Damn right you were! You have stopped that shit, man! I missed that note earlier, I guess. Hi, I'm glad this happened. What the hell? I was filled with joy when the professor informed me that both mother and child were safe, but this feeling did not last because in my despair I had signed everything that was placed in front of me. 
and it was too late when I finally realized that my newborn son was supposed to become his guinea pig. Sorry, my, my dog <laughs> licked my foot. <laughs> It scared me. I didn't know she was in here. A nightmare broke out in my dreams. A thunderstorm of human cries. My son's plea for help pierced my mind and unclouded my thoughts. I have to put an end to this before all is lost. Don't worry, man. I'll do it. You weren't here before for some reason, but I'll do it. Is it just self-solving? It is. What? Okay. Should we go through? I guess we don't have a choice, huh? <sighs> and that's the end of episode one. So, thoughts on Lethe Episode 1, something I've been kind of holding back on a little bit. I just wanted to kind of see how everything all played out before I said anything about it. Um, first of all, I think this is good. I'm totally on board with playing Episode 2 and 3, and I think it's pro possibly the horror surprise of the year. Although, we're not done with the year yet, so it's kind of going a little far to say something like that. Uh, especially with all the, you know, releases that we have coming up later in the year. I just am surprised that I didn't hear anything about this leading up to the release. But, um, with that, with that said, it's not perfect. Um, but, you know, that doesn't mean, uh, that I didn't enjoy myself or that I, it, it's not a, uh, a good horror release and possibly the best of the summer. Um, first things first, the graphics and the sound design are terrific, especially for such a small team. Uh, possibly the best aspect of the game. The game had terrific environments, you know, a soundtrack was great, everything. Uh, aesthetically, top notch. Um, I'd say the only thing in regards to aesthetics that, uh, wasn't like top tier maybe the monster design, um, but it makes sense within the world, you know, like the the design of the the three enemies that you encounter in the game, it makes sense, right? Like they look how they should look in that world, it's just they don't look particularly scary, with maybe the exception of uh, Baghead Lady Knife Hands at the end. <laughs> um, but you know, I, I enjoyed myself and um, with that said, I think that the game had some pacing issues. It kind of dragged in places. A lot of the same critiques I have of Layers of Fear can also apply to this. Even though there are enemies and there is an element of danger in Lethe compared to Layers of Fear where you're just kind of walking around and things happen around you, you still feel about 95% of the time when you're playing this game like you're just kind of walking around reading notes and things just kind of Things don't really happen is the difference between this and Layers of Fear, I think. Because, like, you would walk around Layers of Fear and just things would be happening all around you, right? And this one, you, uh, you are the one who initiates the change in the environments. You're the one flipping the switches, uh, solving the, the puzzles. I, I'm hard-pressed to call a lot of them puzzles because a lot of them is just, uh, switch flipping and, uh, powering up various things. Although, they did a good job of varying things enough, I think. Um, but yeah, it did feel very walking sim in some 
areas to me. It felt like we were walking a lot. Uh, wasn't a huge fan of the physics mechanic and the platforming and stuff that happened later on. But it was cool, you know, it's better than not having it, you know. And that's kind of like one of the worst things you can have in your game is like a mechanic that everyone wishes wasn't there. Like it'd be so much better without that mechanic entirely. But, so I, I can't say that about, you know, the physics powers. I think it's cool. But uh, I feel like there could have been more done with it. Uh, but you, at the same time, you don't want to turn this into a puzzle game, right? You want this to be like an atmospheric indie horror experience kind of in line with Amnesia and Penumbra. Because this game really does have a frictional games feel to it. And I definitely appreciate that. I just kind of wish it felt more dynamic. It felt like it kind of dragged in some spots and it wasn't as... It didn't have the energy that I wanted it to, I guess, in, in some places. Uh, with that said, it's great for what it is. I think for, for 15, for just one episode, it might be a little steep. Um, but there is like four hours, maybe five hours of gameplay here, so... Um, it, it, if, if every episode is about this length, it's going to shape up to be a decently uh, length horror game. Perhaps too long in all, if I were to play episodes 1 through 3 back to back and it was ended up being like 12, 13 hours. Might be a little too long for this style of game, but um, yeah, overall great. Honestly, really liked it. Um, trying to think of what else to say before we end things off. I don't know when episode 2 is releasing. I don't think that the developer has really announced that information yet. But um, I'll be playing it when it comes out. I know someone's going to ask me that. Everyone, I don't know why people even ask me stuff like that. It's like, yeah, I played episode 1, so I'm going to play episode 2. Um, and yes, I will play Outlast 2 when it comes out, but as you guys know, Outlast 2 has been delayed to 2017. So, I just I had to say that because I know someone would have commented it otherwise. That there have been a lot of those comments recently. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the first episode of Lethe and um, what you thought of the story and everything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Think critically. <laughs>